start with the final set for the C set paper. Now the very first question is based on the passage question. It talks about the best universities like Harvard and MIT are despite having uh, the excellent teachers on payroll are focusing more on flipped classroom where they are encouraging students in universities all over the world to integrate to the online courses and uh, have the video lectures available free for everyone. Now which of the following best reflects the central idea? The central idea is availability of higher education can be made easier and cheaper without di diluting the quality of content because we say that there are excellent teachers from Harvard and MIT. So B becomes the right option. The next question here. Uh, is again a passage question. This talks about our cities are vulnerable to climate change. We have seen that we need to address the climate issues and the impacts and cities contribute 65% of the GDP but there are no facilities to cater to the needs of the people. There are issues of quality of air, transport etc and we have to identify sustainable solutions. So uh, we need to involve the citizens in city planning and create an ecosystem that meets the need of everyone. Now here we are saying that we need to maintain and develop our cities and adopt sustainability related interventions. So this becomes a right option. The next question is again a question where we say there are two friends who spend equal amount of money. Now uh, Jeb Watts buys three pen plus five pencil is equal to two pen plus 7 pencil. So I take pen on one side. So 1 pen is equal to 2 pencil. And therefore I can say price of the pen is 2 times the price of the pencil. A very direct question was it. Uh, the next is P scored 40 marks more than Q. Now P's marks are 40 more than Q. So uh, let uh, the marks of Q be 100x. So this is 100x minus 40. In the second case, Q secured 90 less than P. So it becomes 90x. Now 90x is equal to 100x minus 40. So x is equal to 4. Now you have to find out the marks of Q. So Q is 90x or 100x minus 40. So 90 into 40. So 90 into 40 is how much? 360. 360 becomes the right option here. The next question is, a person P asked one of the three friends X to how much money he had. X said that if Y gives me 40, so Y minus 40, then uh, what would be uh, the case? The Y would have as half as much as money as Z. But if Z gives me 40, so Z, uh, sorry, Z gives me 40, okay, so Z minus 40, so I would be X plus 40. And this would be how much would be equal to the amount of uh, what y has okay so if y gives if z gives me 40 rupees so 40 rupees given to x okay so y minus uh, 40 z sorry z minus 40 is equal to x plus 40 and that would be equal to the amount so this would be equal to the amount of y now i have this equation i solve this equation how do i solve i take the value of y how much i take it in terms of z so in the first case y is how much z minus 40 okay and in this case how much is z uh, it, I take it as uh, how much so uh, z here would be how much z in terms of y would be 2y minus 80 okay so z would be 2y minus 80 and I use the value of z here as well so 2y minus 80 is equal to y and y is how much z minus 40 okay so that is z plus 40 I'm translating it in terms of y okay so this is the value of z now I want to have z here so z here from the second equation z would be how much z would be z is equal to y plus 40 I solve this it is sorry yes z is equal to y plus 40 okay so y plus 40 clear I repeat again just to avoid confusion uh, y gives me 40 rupees okay so y minus 40 would make half of z 
that's from the first equation from the second equation it is z minus 40 is equal to x plus 40 because x is getting that and that would be equal to y now from the first equation i take the value of z is how much 2y minus 80 and from the second equation i do what from the second equation i need to keep this as uh, the value of z again so z here from the second equation would be y plus 40 now i substitute this here so y is equal to 120 now since y is equal to 120 i take this equation again y is equal to 1 120 so z is 160 and x is 120 minus 40 so it is 80 now it is 200 360 so 360 becomes the right option the next question it's very simple in the first one it is minus 1 then plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on okay so c minus 1 is b h i so the next letter is i before e uh, is d and after m is n so b i d n b i d n is fourth choice you can go further but the answer would remain the same only one choice suffice it the next is at which of the following time do the hour and the minute hand make an angle of 180 degree so this is a clock this is 6 and this is 12 so between 6 and 12 it is 180 so between 7 and 12 it cannot be 180 okay but when it is minute hand it would be somewhere a little away from 5 because this is not exactly on 7 okay so it would be somewhere between 7 5 and 7 10 because my uh, the r end would shift a little from 7 and when it is shifting a little from 7 here it would again shift a little from 5 so somewhere between 5 and 10 and somewhere between 7 and 8 okay so between 7 and 8 would be my hour clock and the minute hand would be between 5 and 10 and therefore d becomes the right option coming next is in an objective test 90 questions are there five marks for correct answer so let's say all of them are correct so maximum marks can be how much 450 but how many marks the student got is 450 minus 387 divided by what can, what would be the difference between the maximum positive marks and the wrong number assigned so 5 plus 2 which is 7 so that is 63 by 7 which is 9 so 9 becomes my right answer in this question the next question is again a very direct question i have to understand 3p 4p pp and pp is how much q r q two okay so i have to find out p such that i multiply p four times and my last digit is two okay so what can be the possibility three into four is 12 so last digit is 2 8 into 4 is 32 so my last digit is 12 now i substitute the values so it can be either 3 or 8 so it can be 33 43 33 and 33 that makes it 142 in the other case it can be 38 48 38 and 38 that makes it uh, i already calculated it so you can uh, do it further so it would be 262 okay so now 262 plus 142 it is 201 uh, 4 402 sorry 404 now 404 i have to find average so 404 divided by 2 so 202 so 202 is the right option the next question is again a similar question i have to have pq multiplied by 3 such that i have rqq now in what case i would multiply uh, with q so that i would get again q it's only 5 so my q is 5 here now i have p5 into 3 is equal to r55 now 5 5 is a 5 carry over 1 what would be p p can be 8 which is 24 20 uh, if i consider p as 8 it is 24 24 plus plus 1 is 25 so r is 2 so 255 now i have the values of p as 8 r as 2 and q as 5 so that is 10 divided by 5 which is 2 so 2 becomes my right answer the next question here is nothing can exist in nature state that can be good or bad by common accent even man who is in the natural state consults uh, consult only his own advantage and determines what is good and bad according to his own fancy and 
this is what we explain so when we talk about the civil state it is the same thing so the conception of what is right and wrong exists due to formation of state and it cannot be conceived in a natural state okay so uh, that is the major idea and it is only in the civil state so one is the right option the central idea of the theme uh, the central theme of the passage the next is we are saying that we are producing more and more then we are saying we are going for driverless cars if we go for driverless cars what would be the case if it hits a jaywalker what would be the case would the government call the driverless car in the court or how it would be maintained okay so cars original court writer in california or the software programmer in hyderabad who would be actually responsible for it so how do we understand the rational pol uh, the practical implications for the same so modern technologies are blurring the economic borders because we do not know actually how and when it would focus innovation and capital have impinged on the domain of state definitely yes and geopolitics will have to reconcile the uh, ambiguities and uncertainties because one is based in california other is in hyderabad so there has to be a uh, reconciliation of the ambigu ambiguous nature within the boundaries so 2 uh, 3 and 5 are the right options is, uh, in this answer too much globalization is not good is not related here and public policy of every country should focus on developing their own supply chain nothing related to it so these three are the right option the next question uh, is again a passage question it talks about the resolution of bankruptcy cases of the indian banks under the insolvency and bankruptcy code which helps to bring out the non performing asset situation under some control so recapitalization of the public se sector bank can increase the capital cushion of the bank and induce them to lend more and boost the economy so this whole passage says that indian banking system requires the structural reform as a part of long term solutions for bad loans in india so that is the right of option for this case the next question is a question where we say the objective of macroeconomic policy is economic welfare it includes macroeconomic policy monetary or fiscal policy and cannot work independent without active supports of one another now what is monetary policy monetary policy focuses on management of interest and the total supply of money in circulation uh, fiscal policy talks about the taxation and the savings by uh, spendings by the government so definitely banks cannot work independent of government they have to work hand in hand so a becomes the right option the next question is a direct question you have to simply solve it by a very simple logic so the runs is scored by a would be how much 61 by 99 plus 14 by 76 who is the fastest that's how you calculate so 5 by 12 by uh, plus 50 by 85 then you have 20 by 50 and that would be added to 15 by 75 and 13 by 55 plus 12 by 50 so that's how you solve this question and you would calculate who is the fastest scorer the next question is half of the villagers have their houses one fifth cultivate paddy one third are illiterate one four fifth are under 25 so i cannot say the relation between each of those all the villagers have their own houses are literate i cannot say those with the houses can be literate cannot be literate uh only half of the villagers who cultivate paddy are literate i cannot say that affirmatively again no villager under 25 has its own house i cannot say that again okay uh, because half of the villagers have uh their own houses that means 50% population if 100 is the total population 50 have uh, uh 50 have their uh village 50 have their houses okay 4/5 of the villagers Uh, four fifths of the villagers are under twenty five. Okay, so that means eighty are under twenty five. So some of them would also have house because we have fifty people who are ha having the houses. Okay, so out of this eighty, twenty remains. So there has to be thirty from this figure as well. Okay, so uh, no one under twenty five has its own houses. Incorrect, but yes, there can be some villagers under twenty five who are literate. That is the statement that I can say is correct because it is not hundred percent affirmative. Now here. uh the next statement the third saturday is 17th so i can say what is the 14th of the month definitely yes but the last day of the month 
if it is wednesday i cannot say what is the 14th because the last day of month can be 31 30 it can be uh, uh month of february so 28 it can be leap year so 29 we don't know how many days are there if i don't know how many days are there i cannot find out the uh, exact day when it was Wednesday, so I cannot come back on 14. If it was first, I could have calculated. So one is incorrect, two alone is sufficient to answer this question. The next question is, which day is 10th October 2027? So the formula is simple, K plus 13 M minus one divided by five floor, okay? Uh, I'll help you uh, explain, then D by four, again floor, that means we will take the lower value in the denomination plus D plus C by 4 minus 2C mod 7. Okay. Now mod 7. So K is what? K is the day. So that is 10th. M is the month we start from March. So March is considered 1. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So October becomes 8. 13 into 8 minus 1 divided by 5 plus D is the last two digits which is 27 so 27 by 4 of the year plus 27 plus uh, C is the first two digits which is 20 so 20 by 4 again floor minus 2 into 20 okay so that may, makes me uh, that gives me 10 plus I would have 103 by 5 floor plus 27 by 4 plus 27 plus 5 minus 40 okay now 103 by 4 would be how much 10 plus lowest value uh, the multiple lowest remainder removed so 5 into 20 is 100 so 20 plus 4 into 6 is 24 uh, the remainder removed plus 27 plus 5 minus 40 so 68 minus 40 which is 28 now this 28 is mod 7 after this i write mod 7 so 28 divided by 7 the remainder is how much remainder is 0 if 0 is the remainder then it is sunday and then 1 is the remainder it is monday and so on so answer here is sunday the next question is consider two statements I have three Venn diagram here, okay. It is blue, black and green, okay. Some green are blue, so I can have it here. And some blues are black, so I can have it here, okay. I mark it X, X. refer to the syllogism classes that we have done, okay. Now, I cannot say all green are black. Now, very simple logic. If my statements are some, some, my logics cannot be all or none. So conclusion 2, 3 and 4 already wrong. Now conclusion 1, some greens are blacks. Now some greens can be black, cannot be black. Green can be here, 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 here. So we cannot say. So again incorrect. So neither of the conclusion 1, 2, 3 or 4 follows. The last question, what is the value of x in the sequence? So 2 into 3 plus 1 is 7. 7 into 3 plus 1 is 22, 22 into 3 plus 1 is 67, uh, then 202 into two, uh, 3 plus 1 would be 606 plus 1 which is 607, so 607 is my right answer here. So this was the last set for your CSET paper 2, hope you enjoyed your paper and wish you very good luck for your upcoming mains examination, those who are preparing for the next year's prelims. These are some of the model questions that are asked. Most of the questions on passage are not related to reading comprehension. They are questions related to logic. And we have seen increasing number of questions from data sufficiency as well. So prepare well. Wish you good luck. See you soon. And we have started our mains uh, program with test series and video courses and more. So you can contact us for more details. Wish you good luck.